Oh, hey. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Happy tea time, everybody. This is the 100 millionth episode of tea time. I don't even know. <laughs> You guys are on our YouTube channel, which I'm assuming you are if you're watching you're this. Here, we have lots of insurgent videos <laughs> going up. And it's you, really exciting. You should watch them all. There's fun. Like Sasha is taking you around Chicago. I know that's so in cool. In the like she's so divergent cool. worlds. We went on a set visit, which we posted a while back. But if you haven't watched that video, go check it out. You should watch it. Um, um, we've got. Like, I've got an exclusive interview with Veronica Roth. Oh, fancy! Uh, we've got some insurgent DIY. Yes, we've it's, a a week. it's a fun week. It's basically week. we're really stoked because the movie. Oh my god! It's here. here. It's here. Let's make sure he's he's oh, joining for. us. Forrest joining How us. How are for you tea today? Time. today? All right. So, but first, I'm gonna let him have a sip of tea. Just a little sip. What are you guys reading? Tell us over in the comments. Yeah. What are you reading, Aubrey? Um, I am on that fantasy trip. Jody Meadows. The Orphan Queen. The Orphan Queen. I actually did yeah. not have time to read this when it was like an arc. Mm -mm. But the Twitter sphere and the social sphere. Everyone's really pumped about so this They're so pumped about it. I was like, I need to do it. It's really and I good. knocked over the rest of my 2B red pile and I picked this up. And it's... Paying I also, off greatly. I love that the main character's name is Wilhelmina. 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 That's Wilhelmina. Just, I've never read a YA book with a main character. Named I like it. Like, like I say it in my head while I'm reading it. I'm like, Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina. Yeah, that's good. Although she's a little more BA than Wilhelmina. Yeah, she's totally badass. So, What are you reading? I am reading... Um, I just finished just a second at my desk. Those Girls by Lauren Saft. Um, this one comes out in June. This is... Probably the raunchiest YA book I've ever read in my life and probably will ever read. Note to self, this is definitely, if you can't handle bad or foul language, do not go near this book. If you're like me and adore foul language and love raunchy stories. Embrace and, it. And like super raw stories, totally read it. I'm just going to read you one sentence just so, because the whole time I was I reading like this I book, need earmuffs. it's like terrifying. This book is like a terrifying version of Gossip Girl. Like... Um, I read a book like that recently, um, uh, the the Wonder Bread Summer. It's 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 really it's intense. like you're just like oh my god. But it's, all right, so that wasn't why. Here's one sentence. Bitches were just jealous. I get it. I was violently purging the unborn child of the hottest guy in their grade. I'd be mad at me too. <laughs> That's in the first chapter. Yeah, but it's it's really good and definitely not what you've read before. That's not so. what I was expecting. But yeah, so I know not what you're expecting, right? No. So yeah, those girls by Lauren Saft. Fun fact: she was my sister's college roommate. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, anyway, you love your sister. <laughs> I do. Back to, to insurgent. insurgent. <laughs> so when insurgent starts, what has just happened? I guess earmuffs. If you haven't seen or read or done Divergent, but you know what, your fault. Yeah. Um. So if you didn't know, there was this book called Divergent, mm -hmm. and this is the second book of three, plus a collection of short stories. Um. Anyway, so what happens at the end of Divergent? Tris has just killed Will. Yes. Ah. Oh, and her scene? family is. Her dad just Ooh. died, her mom just died, and you're in tears, and they're on a train booking it yeah. out of there. Yeah. Because, you know, remember how, like, all of the Dauntless were under that mind control, and mm -hmm. they were taking out negation. Controlled by Erudite. I'm wearing my yeah. Erudite blue You are today. wearing Erudite blue. I like it. Because I kind of want to be Kate Winslet. <laughs> but, but not a nice. that movie. But a yeah. nice one. Um, so, yeah, so there's, like, a lot of stuff happening in Divergent, and Insurgent picks up, like, an hour after Divergent ends. It's like, not, the train is stopped. Yeah, like, it's not even, like, oh, a couple weeks later, you know. And now the train has stopped and taken them to Amity. Um, and where they're seeking shelter, you because know. Because the world is messed up. And they need to regroup. Um, I am so excited. I'm so excited for this movie. What are things that you are most looking for? The Amity compounds. I mean, I know... <laughs> I know that they filmed it in Atlanta and, you know, yeah. back in the countryside. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm just, I'm really excited for those visuals because, you know, the first movie is set in Chicago. So, you get a lot of, like, ooh, 
it's, it's so city. It was so city. Yeah. yeah, and now I'm just like, ooh, I want like well, crickets. You, and you love the like I dystopian love, like wilderness. I version. do. I love dystopian wilderness, which isn't really dystopian. It's just, just wilderness, wilderness. But you know, whatevs. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited for the Amity Compound, and the second thing I'm really excited for um, is Daniel Day Kim. <laughs> Because Lost, I just have so many questions about Lost still, and I'm hoping that because he's in this, maybe there will be one question answered. Just like a little side note. What little was the, the polar note. bear? Come on. What is this monster? Also, you have a giant crush on him. Also, I have a huge crush on Daniel I mean, those things play into it. Oh my gosh. Daniel Day Kim, if you are not aware, he plays the leader of Candor, which... We see me the leader of my heart any yeah. day. <laughs> in all of Insurgent, you see a lot more of the faction world, and less because you really only saw the faction world at the choosing ceremony, and then mm-hmm. you were just pl- you're like plunked and dauntless. But now you get to kind of see everybody and how they roll. Oh, and you get to see the factionless compound, which reminds me because that's where we got to go see when we were at the set. Yeah, the if you haven't seen set. the video, uh, Veronica gave us a tour, and look. You can maybe click on one of these things. Or there's probably a link in the description. Or down there. Or down there. Um, You should go watch that video because it was really cool to go visit the set. Um, It was all in one building, all encased, in this giant, like, airport of a building. Yes. The thing that I was really struck by was how big everything was. The set is so huge. Yeah, like, they, it was like you stepped into that world. So, like, we walk through, like, a warehouse, and you're kind of, like, through the bowels of, like, a warehouse. And then we walked through the back of Evelyn's house, and Evelyn's house was like, I'm immediately transported there. It was oh, yeah. completely set. Every and then you detail. walked out of Evelyn's house, and it was the factionless compound. They had like, like all those big cinder like houses that they're all living in. That all was, was real. There. It was completely real. None and of that like, was, ah! yeah, none of that was computerized at all. It was completely real. And the thing is, it is down to every single detail. L- the littlest, the, like, set design did a Oh my god. Job. I mean, I was, like, looking on, I was, like, looking for mistakes and stuff, because I was, like, looking under stuff for, like, you know, to say, like, TJ Maxx, twelve ninety nine or whatever, no. for, like, all their stuff. No, it was all They even had, like, distressed everything, and yes. it was dirty, and it would just and that, felt like it was lived in, and even that, though we were in a warehouse. Exactly, and in that video we were showing that bowl that was stapled together. Mm-hmm. That was, I'm like, who, like, they're not even going to show this bowl, but somebody was like, you know, no, I was factionless, it. and I don't have that many bowls. I'm going to save every one that I have, and we're going to staple that back together. Staple it. Interesting choice to use staples, so I probably, I mean, I don't know. How do you staple ceramics? Somebody did it because they were real staples. It was probably Evelyn. Oh, and Evelyn is going to be in this movie. Naomi Watts, who apparently is really tiny. There are so many new characters I'm excited to see and excited to see on screen. Peter? I don't know if, if you guys watch Tea Time with any sort of regularity. I'm drawn to the very complex characters that, like, you don't know what their deal is. Like, mm-hmm. I love Caleb. I love Peter. Because you don't Eric. know what... Yeah, you do. I love Eric. You don't know what they're going to do, and I'm excited. We get def- lots, 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 lots of more Peter in Insurgent, and I'm excited. I'm also really pumped for the fight scene between Eric and Four. Yeah. Boom. Spoiler alert. They fight. Spoiler alert. <laughs> they fight. It doesn't go well for one of them. Spoiler alert. It's not really a spoiler alert, but we got to, that was the one scene that we sort of got to watch happen while they were filming it on the set. Um, we saw them do it, like, 9,000 times. <laughs> so many times. But just it's like, fine. But it was cool. It was a really cool, interesting part of, like, the, they had the to movie get industry. The, the, like, 900 different angles. Every, every angle, angle that he could possibly throw a punch and or fall yeah. in, they had to shoot over and over and over and over and over again. It was like, Eric, throw four into the wall. <laughs> four. Say something really, like, short and witty. And mm-hmm. then it's like, punch, and then fall down to the ground again. It was really cool. It was really cool. It, it was, was a fun. It was a fun, fun day. Unfortunately, we weren't allowed to show you any of that because they want no. you to just see that in the movie, which you will see. But you will see. And then that day, we also there was a fire alarm that went off. Do you remember that? Yep. And we had to go stand outside in the sweltering heat. Of Atlanta's Atlanta. hot. <laughs> oh my god, it was so hot. Atlanta's hot. But we did seek shelter under a tree with Theo James. It was a nice day. It was a lovely moment. <laughs> it was a lovely moment. So, um, tell us what you guys are excited to see. <laughs> are, are there major parts of the book that you just can't wait to see on the screen? Look are there things movies. that, I don't know, t- comment with your thoughts. Talk about it. So, there's three different versions of the hardcover out. There's the movie tie-in edition. 
There's the a ridge. The rags. The rags ridge. And the collector's edition that Which, has lots of... It's got one of those bookmarks, built-in bookmarks that I love. Yeah, I and there's those some tattoos. There's some stuff in the back. Can we just petition to make the bookmarks be included I in know, all books? I know, I know. Yeah, there's, there's some tattoos. tattoos. There's a poster. There's a lot of cool stuff. Um, It's also in paperback, too. There's, like, so many different versions of Insurgent out there. Well, um, So, besides getting to go to the set... Yeah, we got to do the red carpet. We got to go to the red carpet. We got to go to the red carpet. And if you guys didn't follow us on Snapchat, then you missed out. Yeah. Uh, it was fun. It was fun. Um, you know the thing about red carpets? In the presence of greatness. Yeah, that's the thing about red carpets. It's like, they're very surreal because, like, first it's of all, like there's zoo. like a, yeah, there's a million people screaming and it's just like, wow, all this stuff. And then you see these actors come out and they're just like us. They're human beings. Yeah. But they're they're different. They're like they've got like a aura. They just know how to like. I was standing in the corner, like shuddering, like uh, somebody who was way too overwhelmed and, and way too much stimulus. And they're just like cruising on down. I know. Island. I was like, how are you superhuman? Because this is like making my anxiety go through the roof. <laughs> and they're always either taller than you expect or shorter than you expect yeah. in real life. It's always yeah. like that. Like Ansel is tall. Mm -hmm. I can also say this. Theo James is a very lovely person. Um, when I can have a conversation with Theo James, I can't have a conversation uh -uh. with Theo James dressed as four. Mm -mm. Can't do it. Theo dresses Theo, <laughs> easy stuff. Theo dresses four? No. <laughs> nope. Nope. Can't do it. Luckily at the red carpet, though, he was the, as He Theo. was a normal. Yeah, he was norms. <laughs> um, Shailene is taller than I expected, mm -hmm. but also just so beautiful in person. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. And she's, oh, she's like a nice person. She's like she's that person so nice. that you want to be best friends with. She is. And she just is she's like, like, teach me how to be healthier. She's like the one person that will let yeah. hug me, even though I don't like hugs. And I'm she's just like, I'm a me hugger. Watch I'm this. Like, See? Mm, just like, oh, shut it down. Um, and I see her every day. No, but Shailene, though, she's just so full of warmth <laughs> and light. And then there's Maggie Q, who's just like badass extraordinaire. And Veronica, who looks like she basically... <laughs> Came is one of the movie stars. I know. Veronica is like, she's like an Amazon. She's a tall, statuesque, now blonde, beautiful. I'm just in awe of her. Oh! And, and she's awe. a writer, too. Damn she's her! She's like fantastic. She's a special, special person. I remember, like, first meeting her when Divergent came mm. in. And, like, because that was the first book I worked on here. Oh, it was? Mm -hmm. Aww. And so, so it like, was mine! Ah! <laughs> um... So, like, it's so incredible. It makes me smile. I'm so happy for her. She looks fantastic. I know. And she, there's that announcement that she's got a new series. Ah! Don't wanna, we, don't, we don't know anything about that book. That first thing we ever heard about that book was in that press release. Yeah. Press release that they had that on lock. Oh, yeah. We don't know anything. But we will find out. <laughs> and we will tell you. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, so yeah, so that's tea time, um, and we have to cut it short. We have to go. Oh yeah, what time is it? I don't have a watch. It on. is time to go watch Insurgent. We have to go. We're gonna go see it right now, and like we're gonna right live now. tweet our reactions. So if you're watching this, go follow us on Twitter and see what we think. Oh my god, <laughs> it's more four. It's happening. More four. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys in two weeks. I don't know. We'll see you guys at some point. Happy tea time. Happy Cheers. Reading. Cheers. Oh wait, your face. And scene. Bye. <laughs>